Morning everyone and welcome to Travel Lodge. Let's go! If you watch my last video, you'll know that my van unfortunately is broken down on me halfway through my trip. But as I'm waiting for it to come back to me and trying to figure out somewhere local where I can get it fixed, I'm gonna take a trip up to the Lake District for a couple of easy shots down at Rydal Water. Two hot spots all the photographers go to with good reason. They're easy to access and they give cracking results. So our first location is at the beautiful Rydal Water. Well, there's a couple of classic shots here and hopefully I'm early enough that I've got some nice misty conditions. We've got about 25 minutes until sunrise and it's about four degrees. So fingers crossed there'll be some smoke on the water. <laughs> talking quietly because there is a residential area here and I don't want to wake him up and 10 gold stars to anybody who sang fire in the skies so there's already signs of some autumn color we're not in full bloom yet but I'm hoping for the shot I've got in mind there's gonna be some in the hillsides We've got some smoke on the water. <laughs> Combined with that, I want a mill pond reflection as well. Yeah, I don't want much, do I? Ah, oh, traversing my way through all the gnarly roots on the path. Let's just hope that uh, before the sun comes up, it hasn't gone away because what will be awesome is light on the scene, a reflection and the mist. That would be so good. Well, there's not exactly a full bloom of autumnal colour in the background, but it does look beautiful, particularly with that low-lying mist on the water and the mist rolling in across the mountainside. You could frame the shot with two layers of mist and that stunning scene in front of you. This is a classic, but it's a classic for a reason. Well, there you go, some nice misty conditions. And uh, I did have another photographer there. Dan, his name was, ever such a nice fella. But we also had someone camping as well, so I couldn't really do much in the way of recording. But go and check out Dan's Instagram. I'll uh, put a link in the bottom. I think it's the Yorkshire Tourist. Give him a look. So that's location number one for Rydal. One of our hotspots. Yes, it's been done to death, but you've got to do it. You've got to do it. Second stop, coming up this afternoon. So for our next destination, we are at White Moss Car Park. And if you're a photographer, you know where I'm going. Down the road, obviously. So this is another photography hotspot. Quite easy to get to, if not a little bit noisy. You just make your way from the car park. Oh, down the road. And... It's there. So this is the lone tree at Rydal Water. I think it's taken me all of six minutes to get here.
So, in fairness, I think this is actually a sunrise location, <laughs> I'll be honest. Um, sunset does catch the light on it, but it's backlit, which is nice, but I'd rather have it front lit, I'll be quite honest. Huh. Might be coming back tomorrow. There's definitely one I want in the bag. Uh, this ground is boggy and it stinks. My trainers. Good job the wife has got no sense of smell, I can tell you. Sorry, wife. So, from this angle, uh, my biggest problem is I'm shooting into the sun, so I'm going to have to bracket this quite heavily. Uh, but I do get the reflection here, and I can get the tree to mirror the skyline. Well, rather the formations of the mountains. So, right, let's get this one in the bag. So I'm going to have a little bit of a scat around whilst I'm here. We may pop back tomorrow morning. The wife will like this. See, the further back you come, the better it looks, but you lose the water, so you don't see it as an island. I like the idea of it not having any sky in the shot, but I don't think that's feasible. Or it might be, I just haven't found the angle yet. Let's keep looking. So I'm further up towards the top of the lake, heading back towards the car park end. Well, there's a nice angle on the island, but I can't separate it from the trees behind. It's going to take some sort of mist to do it from here. It was misty this morning, possible tomorrow. Well, I've taken the shot for a reference, but there's, well, three issues. One, the sky's a little bit bland. There's a touch of bluey white to it. The uh, tree itself, I can't separate from the trees behind. And all the lights on the mountains at the back. <laughs> Such a shame. I love this angle. And if the tree was just lit and the, and the back wasn't, that would be amazing. I'm going to try and change my angle a little, see if I can get the tree against the darker patch, because the light is still hitting the tree, it's just hitting everything behind it, and I can't seem to find an angle where I get the brighter tree in the darker background. But we'll keep looking. Ah, so I'm nudging my way closer. It's not working. Though, so, there seems to be a little bit of hue in the sky at the moment, so... Mm. That could be nice, <laughs> but I must get that reflection before I go. That's over there, if you can see it. Hmm, right. I think one last ditch attempt is to go over to the higher ground up there and see if there's a shot going down, going down towards it, but I don't think there is. Well, I'm definitely working all the angles today. <laughs> this doesn't quite work either. Can't get high enough to get all of the reflection, uh, all of the tree in the lake, and I can't get any reflection whatsoever. I'm not sure if you can see it because this won't expose for it properly, but there's some nice hues in the sky. Should be good for what we were doing originally in our original composition. So let's get over there quick. And just like that, the red's been snuffed out. Oh well. 
that was nice. <laughs> that really was nice. That made the effort. That really did. So, oh, we're getting mist coming across now as well. Look at this. I don't know if you can see that. Obviously the temperature is changing. Oh. We'll see you tomorrow morning brings, I think. Well, I turned up the following morning and there was mist on the water. I positioned myself back where I was earlier in the day before and I waited for the sun to pop up over the mountains and just light up the tree and hopefully not the background. It did that for me, but I still don't get the separation I want. No, the colours just blend together too much. So there you are then, two easy to access locations at the stunning ride or water that will benefit anyone's portfolio. So thanks for looking guys and I will catch you all in the next one.